What's going on YouTube? It's Izzy Seiko and I am back again with the top five things that Yu-Gi-Oh players do that I don't understand. And these are things that I also do, but I just don't know why I do them. And I think it's just part of the culture and it's super weird. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna talk about these five things right now. First thing I'm gonna start off with is Oricas. Why? Why? Why do we I can't why do we do this? Because now we spend $10 on a card that's not really a card, and then we damage real cards to make cards that are not really cards cards. And then we use them as tokens, yeah, but it's kind of just like, why not use, I mean, they have tokens, like Yu-Gi-Oh gives us tokens, they give us tokens. So why do we create our own tokens and spend bread on things like this? And it's, it's specific to card players in general because I know Magic the Gathering players use other cards from other card games as tokens, but it's just a weird thing that I always wondered where it started and who started using things like this in game. Second thing, collecting sleeves. I'm going to flip these around because this shit gets crazy. Why do I need random sleeves from random places? at random times that I don't have 15 or 40 of that will never be used. I don't know. And I've seen some card players actually keep these sleeves in their binder and it's just empty sleeves. And I kind of don't get why we do that either. Maybe it's aesthetically pleasing to flip through someone's book and see pretty sleeves, but kind of doesn't serve a purpose. Thing three, it's the hand thing. It's the, it's the past turn hand, it's the past turn hand. And if you play with anyone who hasn't been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for a while, they won't know what the fuck you're doing. But like, you know, you're sitting down and you're playing. All right, set. It's not the boy hand, but it's like a, like a 90 degree angle, like a 75 degree angle flip, like a pass. I don't know where this originated from. I don't know who did it. I don't know where it came from, but it's fucking weird and everyone does it everyone does it and it's just like a like a thing and I, I do it in other card games and people will just go did you end your turn and I'm like just go I don't know fourth thing is gonna be the card collection the card collection I collect succubus things pretty girls with bat wings and ears and shit so everyone has this page in the back of their book where they collect things and it's kind of just like this is your trade binder, so why keep shit that's worth like pennies in here? But it's just because what we like, but it's just all card players do this and I just don't get it. I don't get it, I don't know why I do it, I don't know why you do it, I don't know, I don't know. And then the fourth thing is, well the fifth thing, is also about binders. The upside down card. Y'all get me tight with this shit. It's not for trade. I get it. But then why the fuck is it in your book? Y'all just want to be fancy. Y'all really just trying to be fancy and style on people. Because if you have a whole deck for trade that's $600, and it's in your book, then it's not really for trade if it's upside down. So why bother have it in your book? To confuse people or to just be like, <laughs> yeah, I got the whole deck, but you can't have it. What's the point of that shit? Why do y'all do that? This shit is like beyond fucking me. And then you get mad and people value. Oh, it's not for trade. Well, isn't this your trade binder, nigga? Why is it in your trade binder if it's not for trade? How does that shit make sense? I don't know. But these are five things that I've noticed that I do, card players do. And it's not just Yu-Gi-Oh players, it's all of us. We're all a little crazy. But if you do any of these five things, let me know in the comments below which one. Um, let me know what you collect on your back page, because I know you do. Or let me know what your auricas are of. And I look forward to hearing from everyone. And if you have another Yu-Gi-Oh! habit or card game habit that just irritates the fuck out of you, let me know what it is in the bottom, because maybe I missed a couple. But these are just things that are typical that I see every day that I'm just kind of like, what are y'all doing? I'll see you next time.